All right, Mark Warnke here at packouts.com. You can see we've just gotten done butchering a bull. We have all the meat ready to go in sacks. We got, you know, 20-ish pound loads. So I want to show you how these signature series work when you have a meat load again. So we're actually going to always go towards the goat. So the towards the goat is always towards the straps. I like to lengthen them a little bit so they're ready to go on. I'm not trying to lengthen while I'm putting it on the goat. And then what we're going to do is we'll just roll this down. And I like to roll it beyond the buckles just a little bit, so I'm like tight down there. So see how I'm like down there? Then I'm going to roll here, roll here towards the goat. Now, another way to contain this slop, you take the two outside ones, because they're the ones that are going to go on the horn, and I go up through. So there's my load. I'm going to hang that on the goat, and then you're going to see how I do my buckle configuration. So come on over so you can see closer, and we'll put it on. Just go ahead and walk over. Come here, Chester. Okay. And so we're going to just put them on each side. I always go with, and I support it with my legs, and I go to the outside of the horns. And that's how I do it normally anyway. And we're going to go up nice and tight against it, and then we're going to do his. Those are going to go to the outside. Tighten those up nice. Now we'll let that load hang. So I'll let it hang. And then what I do is I roll it up. So I'm actually gonna kind of tuck it in itself and get a roll in it. These straps go right inside. I just stuff those inside. Those are the goat four wheel drive straps. And now my corners are gonna go up through. Now here's where it's key with this new saddle. It's really easy to do. You wanna go on the outside of this horn and the outside of this horn and then cross underneath. Then that keeps the load long and then you have both front security and back security, meaning if they're going up, really up steep hills or down steep hills, it uh, it holds forward and back as well. So again, same thing here. I'm gonna go to the outside, I'm gonna go to the outside, cross under, and then once I get kind of the load configured right, I like it to be about mid goat to mid to high. I don't really like it too high because you want it to be middle of that goat. Hold on, Chester. Oh, good boy. So I'm going to kind of take this up just a little bit more. Give it a little bit more space. Come underneath that. And then settle that down in. So see, now it has about the height I want. I'm going to even undo this one a little bit more too. Give this a little bit more space. Let that drop down. There, so see, you can see I got the load mid goat now. Now I still can use goat four wheel drive if I want to, those straps are right here. We don't have that hard of a trail out, but that'll hold this load out if we're going over heavy stuff. But you can see now we've taken a big bulky, or excuse me, a really tight compact meat load and we've made it fit in a really big pannier and that's the whole idea behind these. So, hope you have a good elk season or deer season or packing season. Mark Warnke, packoats.com.